Living in an open concept space, interior designer Sean Lipsy joins us now with some tips on how to create a stylish floor plan. Because for some, it can be like a real challenge, like how does everything go together? Right, and most of my clients that are younger, having kids, really want that open concept floor plan. They wanna be able to see what's going on in their family room while working in their kitchen. And everyone asks, how do we make these spaces cohesive? We still wanna define the spaces. We still wanna make sure that we have that family room in that kitchen but that everything goes together okay so we've got some examples here so that that shows like kind of a like not everything is all the same color but it just kind of goes together right so in this particular picture this kitchen has that Eden area as well mm -hmm. we've brought in the warm tones the white that everyone loves and gravitates towards but we also brought in the pops of black and just opposite to the kitchen is the family room so it looks right onto the couch area where you you know we have that open concept space here we have another kitchen that's open to the dining room and the family room that falls just behind it and again we like to have the pops of black but still keeping everything very minimal and cohesive because what that's a design rule right like every room needs a little pop of black in it I mean that's our kind rule. Of, yeah. we love that we love that aspect of it we love to mix metals here you see we use brass and black we have the stainless of that really really nice uh, you know, cook's kitchen, um, and here the whole kitchen is opening to the dining room space as well. Okay, and in the next picture here. Yeah, so here we have one of our latest projects. Um, here we've used natural marble, a lot richer woods see that darkness in the wood and this is also open to the Eden space and the family room space again you see that constant pop of black but still making sure that it's neutral and timeless okay and I think we've got one more pick there oh okay. there's me putting you, you know you see that <laughs> you see that cohesiveness of the spaces where the family room just backs onto the kitchen area but again the pillows bring in the warm tones of the kitchen but the spaces are still quite separate okay so let's go now to to the uh, the trays that you've got in front of us here because it shows the different patterns right. and the different fabric colors because you what do you like to base an idea on is it the cabinet colors is it so yeah, what, what I typically like to do is find that neutral that is timeless and will last a long time. When everyone's investing in their family room sofa or their kitchen, those are your big price tags, right? Mm -hmm. Kitchen cabinets, everyone wants a white kitchen. We're starting to push people to more of that natural look, um, which is also quite timeless. And then using the pops of color, whether it's in the pillows or the accessories, depending on what your favorite color is. Right, and those can change easily, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. It's not, it's not gonna cost a fortune. And that's the beauty of it. So something like this, you're into those pink tones. You're able to say in five years, I'm over the pink, let's bring in some blue without mm -hmm. it costing you, you know, the exorbitant amounts of money to change your cabinet colors. Okay. What about wall colors too? Because you've got some, you've got some grass cloth here. Yeah. So we always like to kind of separate our spaces, whether that be our dining room or our kitchen with wall paneling that you'll see here or some textures on the walls that will elevate your dining room spaces or simply just by using different paint colors. Okay, and, and do you recommend like one one paint color for the entire space or maybe different shades of the same color? When you're talking about an open concept floor plan, we do like to have the colors run throughout front to back, all the different spaces. But when you have a spot like a dining room or a ceiling detail that can help you kind of separate the spaces, that's where you can apply something like a, a wallpaper or a different color. Okay, and then what about rugs for like kind of anchoring like a seating area exactly. or a dining so, area. Exactly, so again, we bring in rugs with the same color tone, maybe a little bit more of a pop if you wanted something more neutral, but it does separate those rooms really nicely. It will anchor your sofa and create that space within the open concept. Okay, and we've got about 40 seconds left, but what's your biggest tip for open concept space living? I mean, my biggest tip is in, to invest in those big pieces, make sure that they're the right scale to the home, call a designer, make sure you're putting in the right size mm -hmm. sofa um, so that you can anchor the spaces properly in order to create your zones and have everything still feel quite fluid. Okay, so hiring a designer may seem like an expensive thing, but it's gonna save you money in the long run. It will, and it will really make your home feel finished, okay. right? It really does help ground spaces, make them feel finished, and ultimately functional. Okay, yeah. John, we'll get all your socials up on our website, chch.com slash morning life. Perfect, thank you.